I call the member for McNamara. Thank you very much, Acting Speaker. And I rise to speak on the amendments to the Environmental Protection Biodiversity Conservation Act. And it gives me no great pleasure to say that the Labor Party will not be supporting this amendment uh, to this important piece of legislation. I think every Labor member in this place wants to support an amendment to the EPBC Act. And I want to take this opportunity to um, commend the previous speaker, the member for Kingsford Smith, on his contribution um, to this debate. And of course, I want to thank the shadow minister, um, the member for Griffith, who has done uh, an outstanding job of steering difficult pieces of legislation um, through, um, through in a constructive way, but in a principled way. And I support um, her and the Labor Party's position to oppose this piece of legislation. The EPBC Act is a bill that needs updating. It is a bill that needs updating. And the Samuel Review was part of the 10-year statutory requirement to update and review this piece of legislation. And we desperately need to update this piece of legislation. But the bill that the government has presented in this place on this day is not the bill that we need and that we will accept in this country. The bill that is before this parliament will not protect our environment, it will not protect jobs, and it will not protect the natural wonders that Australia is so proud of. Our environmental interests in this country align with our economic interests in this country. What we need and what is good for the environment is good for the economy. A research paper conducted in my office by my parliamentary intern found that almost 300,000 Australians work in some form of job connected to the environment. The environment is a job creating machine and we need to protect it. So in this contribution this morning, I'm gonna outline why the EPBC Act is important, why this review is so important. I'm gonna outline parts, outline parts of what is actually in this bill and I'm then going to go to what actually should be done in this place. But before I do, I just want to point out one fact. That not one member of the government, not one member of the coalition is standing up to speak on this bill. Not one. Not one member of the government is standing up to support this EPBC Act amendment. And it shows because their heart is not in it. It shows that they don't want to stand up and be associated with this bill that this bill is bad for our environment, bad for jobs, bad for our country. And that's why not one member of the government has the guts to stand up and defend it. But we will find it in this place. So why is the EPBC Act so important? And I think um, to, to, to start this part of my contribution, I wanna thank the contribution of environmentalists and local environmentalists in McNamara who have at every stage of my time as the member, uh, in, as the a member for McNamara, has engaged constructively with me and has um, engaged positively and passionately about their protection for the environment. And I especially want to thank members of the Australian Conservation Foundation locally who um, have been, um, who have helped and made submissions not only to the EPBC Act review in the Samuel Review, but also um, to to me personally um, and. Um, and in my contribution on this bill, and I want to thank them in this moment. Because the EPBC Act is crucial to protecting our natural environment and our incredibly valuable ecosystems in this country. Healthy Australians can only exist in a healthy Australian natural environment. And the current EPBC Act has failed to protect Australia's natural wonders. We have the highest rate of mammal extinction in the world. Our water and air quality is declining. Our planet is rapidly warming and it is already having devastating consequences. We saw bushfires increase in intensity over summer. We're seeing severe droughts. We are in an ecological crisis and things are only getting worse. This should not be happening in a developed country when we have the resources to protect our most valuable assets. The current EPBC Act does not protect the things it is supposed to protect and it needs to be strengthened. It needs to be monitored. It needs to be effectively enforced 
by an independent regulator. But revisiting and resubmitting this, in, this failed bill from 2014 from Prime Minister Tony Abbott is an insult to the 30,000 Australians who submitted constructively to the Samuel review that the government undertook itself and who made submissions to help strengthen our environmental laws. Now is the time to bring people together on this bill. Now is the time to bring people together, scientists, businesses, conservationists, Indigenous Australians, people who have a stake in our environment to come together constructively and listen to the experts. But of course, that is too far removed from the capabilities of this government. The bill instead before us is a far cry and is far removed from what Professor Samuel is recommending in his interim report. Instead of listening to the interim report of Professor Samuel, the government has chosen to put forward a bill that will only make a bad situation worse. At the very heart of the Samuel Review comes a clear recommendation that the Commonwealth cannot cede environmental standards to the states, that what we need in this country is a clear and strong set of national environmental standards, led and introduced by a federal government. But of course, instead of listening to Professor Samuel, this bill hands over much of the decision making to the states and does not set out strong and clear federal environmental standards. Because we know this government has no strong and clear federal environmental standards. They are happy to trash our environment and watch it be destroyed. To make matters worse, when the minister wants to bypass the states, she will be able to call in decisions under this bill, but has removed transparency and accountability measures that are so desperately needed in decision-making in the environmental space at the moment. So to summarise, she can hand over to the states, but when she doesn't want to, she's going to do it secretly and without transparency. Another important recommendation of the Samuel Review was to implement um, was to implement, so on that, that leads me to another um, part of what the Samuel Review has recommended, which is to improve trust and transparency in the Act, including publishing all decisions um, related to, all, all materials related to approval decisions. We, the, the Samuel Review recognises that there isn't enough transparency on this piece of legislation, but instead of increasing transparency and instead of increasing accountability in environmental decision making, the government is looking to reduce it. They are looking to reduce their own accountability and their own transparency in this much needed space. At the last election, Labor committed to introducing a federal environmental protections agency, an independent agency that would help oversee environmental standards are upheld. Professor Samuels recommended that they needed an independent cop on the beat, but this government doesn't want oversight. They don't want an independent agency. They just want to do, and they want to continue with secretive and unaccountable environmental decisions. As the member for Kingsford Smith pointed out in his contribution very eloquently, the interim report also has recommended that there be a specific standard on best practice Indigenous engagement in this bill. We were reminded why this is so important recently when Rio Tinto destroyed the irreplaceable Duke and Gorge Rock, Duke and Gorge Rock shelters in Western Australia. And unsurprisingly, there is no reference to independent, to, to a specific standard on best practice on Indigenous engagement in this bill. So what do we want to see? We want to see
strong national environmental standards. We agree with Professor Samuel that the way to strengthen our environment is not to cede control to the state, but for the federal government to have a strong and clear idea of what it is to protect our environment and what the standards of environmental protection are needed in this country. The Prime Minister and the Minister have all of the conditions that they could possibly wish for at their disposal. We have an opposition who have said cons consistently that we will engage with the government. We will work with, the professor, with Professor Samuels and the review. We will work with agriculture. We will work with the resources sector, with businesses, with traditional owners, with con conservationists and with academics. But like with all things, government is wasted on Scott Morrison and government is wasted on this bunch. They are not interested in improving our national environmental standards. They are not interested in introducing a bill that even listens to their own review. All they are interested in is continuing the ineptitude and the inaction and the devastation we are seeing in our natural environment. We should be implementing strong national environmental standards. We should be introducing an independent cop on the beat or an independent agency to help uphold these standards. And we should be putting the resources needed to ensure that our federal government agencies have all of the um, tools at their disposals to ensure that our, our environmental um, standards are met and that businesses have certainty and accountability. The Labor Party will not cede on our principle that it is our responsibility in this place to uphold strong environmental laws. The Labor Party's legacy is that we protected Antarctica, the Daintree, Kakadu, the Great Barrier Reef, the Franklin. We created land care. It is Labor governments who have a record of environmental protection that is to be admired and to be proud of. But the same cannot be said for the Morrison government. Locally in McNamara, at the last election, I was pleased to be able to commit a federal, the Federal Labor Party to one of the largest pieces of inner city urban environmental protection projects that we've seen in the last decade. In Elwood, in the heart of my electorate, we had a plan to support the local government and the local council to turn the old Elstonwick golf course into a natural environmental wetland, to protect local species, to protect local plants, to protect Indigenous wildlife. It was one of the proudest and most exciting election commitments that I, that I had going into the last election. And while I'm pleased to say that the plans for this environmental protection are going ahead locally, thanks to the work of the local government, to the St Kilda Eco Centre, um, to um, many of the committed local environmental agencies and organisations that are working tirelessly. We are not seeing the same commitment to protecting our precious and limited natural wonders by this federal government. The member for Kingsford Smith rightly pointed out that our Indigenous Australians are the ones that we should be listening to. Locally, the Boomerang people, where I, where I, the, the traditional owners from where I represent and live, used to watch the waterways near the city of Port Phillip Bay before it became a wetland, before it became a bay. And they used to watch the fish population. And when the fish population used to, used to decline, the Boomerang used to stop the fishing from the six Boomerang clans as well as visiting clans until the fish had enough time to have their population increase. For thousands of years, our traditional owners locally around the country have protected our natural wonders and our wildlife. They understand conservation. They understand sustainability. And according to this bill and this, this piece of legislation before us today, this government does not. This government has put forward a bill that will weaken our environmental protections. This government has put forward a bill that will not do as the, own, as the, as the review in which they, um, which they instigated recommends. We need stronger and more formidable environmental protections in this country. The planet is warming. 
Our species are dying out and we cannot trust the Morrison government to protect our environment. Thank you.